Barry, how many kids do you want? I want a girl and a boy. No, I want two girls and a boy. Can you do that? How will you manage them? What are you there for? You will take care of our kids. Eliza, I have to hang up. I need to study for tomorrow's paper. Oh, come on, Barry. Please don't hang up. I just want to talk to you. Let's talk a little bit more. But we talked about everything. And you should study too. I don't want to study. I just want to talk to you. Please try to understand. We need to focus on our exams. And we are meeting tomorrow, aren't we? We will talk a lot then. I know, but I just can't help it. I miss you. I miss you too, Eliza. But we need to do well in our exams. It's important for our future. You are right, Barry. I just wish we had more time together. We will, honey. After the exams, we can spend as much time together as we want. Promise? Promise. Now, go and study. We both need to do our best. Okay, Barry, I will study. But only because you asked me to. Thank you, I will see you tomorrow. I love you. I love you too, love. Good luck with your revision. You too, bye. Thank you for having me. Your hospitality has been wonderful. We are glad to meet you, Harry. Thank you for coming over. And we hope you enjoyed your time here. It was a pleasure getting to know you. Absolutely, I enjoyed every moment. Your home is beautiful. And Eliza showed me around the garden. It was lovely. We are happy you liked it. We take great pride in our home. It shows. Everything is so well maintained and welcoming. You are welcome here anytime, Harry. We consider you part of the family. That means a lot to me. I appreciate it very much. Please give our regards to your mother as well. We hope to meet her someday. I will definitely pass on your regards. She would love to meet you too. Safe travels back home, dear. And do visit us again soon. Thank you, I will. Have a good evening. Mom, do you need any help? No, honey. I don't need any help. Here, take this money and give it to your friend Eliza. Where did you get the money? I got my payment, and I asked my madam for an advance on my salary. She gave it to me. Okay, I will give this money to Eliza. And make sure to thank her. She helped us when we needed it the most. Yes, but I don't know whether she will take this money or not. She loves me a lot. But it's our responsibility to return the money, my son. Yes, mom. And thank you for this money. After I graduate, I won't let you work in people's houses anymore. I will earn enough money to support us. I believe in you, Barry. You have a bright future ahead. But for now, let's do what's right. I will, mom. I will make sure to give this to Eliza and thank her properly. That's my boy. Always remember to appreciate those who help us. I do, mom. Eliza has been such a great support to me. I want to make her proud. Good. Now, go ahead and take care of this. And remember, I'm always here for you. Thanks, mom. I couldn't have done any of this without your support.
Where is Harry? Did he leave? Yes, honey, he has left. But you should have said goodbye to him when he left. I'm sorry, I was studying. Honey, how is Harry? Is he nice? Did you like him? What do you mean? He means, he is a big businessman. Did he talk to you nicely? He did. He is quite interesting while talking. I like his personality. And he liked our house. That's good to hear. It's important that you get along with him. He seems like a decent person. He was very polite and respectful. I appreciated that. Well, it's good that you had a chance to talk to my guest. Okay, it's getting late. Let's go to sleep. I'm going to my bed. But you haven't eaten dinner. Aren't you hungry? No, I'm not. I had something earlier. I will be fine. Are you sure, honey? You need to eat to keep up your strength, especially with exams going on. I'm sure, mom. I will have a good breakfast in the morning. All right, but make sure you don't skip meals too often. It's not healthy. I know, mom. I will be more careful. Good night. I think she is interested in him. She likes him. Maybe they had a wonderful conversation in the garden. Should I talk to Harry about marriage? He likes her too. Why hurry? Let them get to know each other better. Then we can go further. You are right. There is no need to rush things. It's important they build a strong connection first. Exactly. Rushing into things might not be the best approach. We should give them time. I just want the best for her. Harry seems like a good match. He does, but let's be patient. They need to develop their own relationship. And if they continue to get along well, then we can consider the next steps. We will wait and see how their relationship blossoms. Hey mom, did you have dinner? Yes, I had. And where is Lily? She is in her room. She is studying. That's good. I will check on her later. Where have you been? Did you go to any party? No, I went to my father's friend's house. He invited me over for dinner. Oh, that sounds nice. How was it? It was good. Their house is beautiful, and they were very welcoming. I'm glad to hear that. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, I did. I met their daughter Eliza. She is quite interesting. Oh, really? What did you two talk about? We talked about our studies and future plans. She wants to be a fashion designer. She is very nice and has a great personality. That's wonderful. Maybe you can invite her over sometime. Maybe. Right now, I'm just really tired. I'm going to bed. All right, dear, get some rest. Good night. Good night, Mom. Honey, I should go home now. It's getting late. What? I booked a room for us tonight. You have to stay with me. No, honey, we already enjoyed a lot. I have to go home before my brother comes. Come on, Lily, just one night. 
We can have so much fun together. I understand, but I really need to go. If my brother finds out, I will be in big trouble. Don't worry about him. He won't know. Just relax and stay with me. You don't get it. Harry is very strict. If he catches me, it will be a disaster. Lily, please. I have been looking forward to this night for so long. And I appreciate that, but my family will be worried sick if I don't come home. Just tell them you stayed over at a friend's place. They don't need to know. I really want you to stay. It's just one night. I want to stay with you too. But I can't lie to them like that. You know how things are at home. I promise we will have another night together soon.